Mm. Welcome back to Vermeer. With this endless song in the background. Why each and every dialogue we had. It needs to be destroyed. Yeah, voice lines. The Salarians are counting on us, Shepard. We can't let them down. That weapon is looking good. Extra wise. There's two. There's something foul in the air here. Sirens. God damn. Nice. It's foul. Okay, let's go, Stubborn. Let's not the big boy Turian. The super alien fan goes squad. The first Soka Tano. No, I did not watch the new Star Wars series Acolytes. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one oh. on Eden Prime. Let's touch it. All together. On three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> like a possessed person. This place is an abomination. Saren's research must be destroyed. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. The ship. I'm talking to the ship. Hmm. I gotta mute my audio for a second while this conversation happens. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My 
my kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there, fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Uh, oh, just back in. Ah, didn't want to ruin that. Amazing conversation. Background noises. Are we just jumping out here? No? The back? The way we came? Map, tell me. That'll be back, yes. Up the elevator again. Okay. Sure. Sure. God, I'm gonna remodel a little bit afterwards. Let's lift it up. Let's shoot it to bits. The Gath are turning from your position, Jay Atto. Looks like Shadow picked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. Williams? Am I? Roll them. Gotta be the right way. Okay, I believe I can hit him from here. You're gonna do a sprint at me? Come on, I dare you. I'm being on that. God, I love that laser flying in my sight. And he does. And he's. Good. Good. I hope I'm going the right way, but enemies do most signal that the way is the right one. Particles actually look damn good. And I didn't even put any texture mods on the game. It's mostly more drawable than it's worth. Please loot. Sure. Sniper, I draw so much loot I don't even need any of that crap anymore. And so many biotic gems. One thing I could use is some armies. I should heal up. There, that's where that thing is. <laughs> Nasty. Nasty, bro. Turrets. Overload. Oh, oh, yeah. They all has that now. All the package that she is. Come on, throw it in there. Yeah. 
good. Red. Up the elevator. Oh no! Right next to that explosive barrel. Boy, that's not <laughs> as he fell down. Now is not the time. No, it's actually not the time. Good call. Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. Now it's our turn. Yeah, that still a bit of a pitch. Camera angle one. Come on. Get me down there. We're so close. Deliberating a Vermeer. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Damn you. Damn you. Um good. Anything else? I oh, don't know why they didn't have any of the crawling. Okay, if any. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Two and three. And hold the line. No. I can't see. Damn it. Oh, this place. <laughs> All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. That's a bird, not the Normandy. Okay. Raiding attack. I think I sent to talk to Joker then. That's our quick save. Looks like a brain. Like one of those brain robots from Fallout. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA Tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Those are all the same choices. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. No. Oh. I thought there was a command to uh, guard the bomb. Anyways, let's go. Can we just talk to people here? No. Is it through here now? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a little bit too much in my face. Okay, pro sabotage. That's not that good. Yeah, so much power now. So much good stuff. Open up. Are we actually gonna save Ashley here? I don't know how this plays out. 
Oh, it's blind, like I said. Never fully bladed, so I don't remember it quite exactly how this all plays out. Huh. It appears the Geth have sent reinforcements. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. God. I guess that's the decision now. Hold on, Lieutenant. I'm coming back to get you. Negative. There's just too many of them. I don't think we can hold them off. I'm activating the bomb. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Oh, here's the decision. <laughs> He's rolling the eyes over like, oh, I need to make that. All right, cool. Rescue Caden. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Oh, I space racist. There is something foul in the air here. Yeah, someone's dying. I don't know if you inside now. Oh. The last two times. I mean, the last time I played Mass Effect here, two and three. Ashley was part of that Let's Play. So it's time Caden gets his time. Although it's so similar, both of them. It doesn't even matter. And here's someone dead. It shot me. Bomb, bomb that already. Nice dodge, me. Damn. I just fell, oh, my immunity is not here anymore. Okay, adrenaline first. Is that too dead? No, it's not. Oh, there we go. Damn. That's quite the troop coming our way. Guess the sorry is dead. Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Oh boy. No. No. Actually not. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped 
This facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. It's insane that we just have a big talk here. And apparently Tali and Yara are nowhere to be found. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the Conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them! I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I don't know why those options are still here. This is going in a circle. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. Between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Okay, we do fight now. Oh, I'm just gonna slaughter him in a second. Covering his shield pretty quickly. Oh no. Actually, I'm not gonna slaughter him. I'm gonna sabotage him. Do my way. The fight already over. Okay. Paragon Fist. I hope that last boss fight will be better than what we just had. Oh, so I need to turn up the difficulty. This, it would be already too late if it's over that quick. All right, everybody, hang on! Lifting Katie and Gaiden like it's nothing. Okay. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. 
She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. It's a time to embrace eternity again. I've actually uh, done some clips of that and re-edited them. One black and white with Pacific screenshots and thumbnails and one in red with Helmaya Aldava screenshots. Guess I'm gonna have a third choice option. I might edit that in, in after this embrace eternity sequence. Sequence? Yeah, sure. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. It's just the same cutscene. Incredible. I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We had the talk already. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Was it? Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Can't we just slap them and tell them to shut up and take my word for granted? No? Oh. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Yeah. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. 
Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Three people. They are right. Tell you who was a part of that conversation. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, apparently. Uh, let's talk Joker. And then I believe we're done here. And we're gonna embrace eternity. Commander, Bitch. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. You will be on the ship. Yeah, that's something. You're gonna be fighting. Making us all broad. Ah. Oh. Like the few crew conversations missing. Do only Rex and Garrus have side quests? Dali and Diara have nothing? Nothing. Sad music is still playing. It's getting to me. Slam it. I'll stop the music. Uh, okay, we're gonna talk to the crew in the next part. I am done here. So, to press to the pictures. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. No. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Okay. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Commander, embrace eternity. 